Hi, this is David Earl, or you may know me as Asif Logic Ninja, coming at you with a Pyramine Tip and Trick. So, 10.2. This is Logic 10.2. Actually, this is just alchemy, because I think it's by far the coolest thing that happened in 10.2. And I wanted to just kind of give you an overview of how it works. So, check it out. There are three main views, browse, simple, and advanced. Browsers where you can find sounds using categories, subdivided by a category, subcategory, and then we have two flexible categories. One is genre, which we can change to sound library, articulation, timbre, or legacy content. So if you had uh, Alchemy on here before, you can actually go back to the legacy content if you want. And then we have another flexible category that we can go into as well. So if I go into a category like keys and choose layered, then you'll see that on the right hand side, our choices are going to automatically be filtered out by these different indicators, these tags that we're going through. So I'll choose ambient. There we go. So we choose the sound we want. Maybe I'll do aqua mallet. And up top, you'll see it says synth aqua mallet. So it gives us our sort of category and then the name of the instrument. If we hit the right and left arrow, we're able to go through the instruments here, or we can click here and we can go through all of our different categories as well. So it's pretty cool. So if I play the sound, a little bit of aftertouch, does some cool stuff. And then to the right of that, we have our file menu, save menu, and then a save as menu. Now under the quality, we have Draft, Good, Great, and Ultra. Alchemy is a very hungry plugin. So I usually have it set to great because I have a pretty good computer. But if you're noticing some performance issues, you may want to back it off a little bit. It still sounds great, but it's just not quite as, uh, as super high quality OCD quality. <laughs> now down below, we have our performance controls, our arpeggiator controls, and our effects. Now, the performance controls also show up when we're in simple mode. If I go over to simple, we'll see that the controls get concatenated down to just this transform pad and the controls on the right. Now what this is, is it's basically giving us eight different versions of this sound. It's the same preset, but we're altering these settings slightly as I pass from one pad to the other. So I'll hold a chord. So that's pretty cool. It allows us to select between different parameter settings on these knobs and these two XY pads. Now, where do we assign these knobs to do the specific controls that we want them to do? Well, if we control click on them, we can see where they're assigned. We go to delete modulation, we can see this is going to delay mix. Then we have other controls that we can swap them with. Auto assign, so it tries to pick the, uh, the best one for us to use. And we have things like invert knob and all that jazz. Now, ultimately, it's much easier to set this when we get to advanced view. On the left-hand side here, we have things like octave. This is going to be our morph controls, where we can switch between uh, different key switches to go between different states of the transform pad, which is pretty cool. And then we have the function of the wheel is controller 7 right now. And we have our snapshot volume. So as I go between these different transform pads, these are a snapshot of the sound that I'm looking at right now. All right, so now that we've been through the browser and we've checked out the simple mode, let's get into advanced. Very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool. And until I came here for the first time, I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do, and especially in electronic music. Since since coming to Pyramind, I, I've discovered electronic music, and you know, San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me, and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact, 
when people get to the mind melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths down to the, the finest detail, we, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.